What's up, guys? We are back taking a look at some Thursday night football player props today over on prize picks. Feeling really good about today. Have some really good player props, but they do have some asterisks on them. So I'm going to explain that. So make sure you guys stay till the end and listen to the breakdown for these player props. But if you guys have not already joined prize picks, you probably already have. But if you have not, you can join right now. It's linked down in my description below and promo code DUMG can get you a first time deposit match up to $100. Again, the link to join is down in my description below. Uh, 19 years and older, available in most states, and I believe also most of Canada. Let's hop in though, start talking about some player props today over on Prize Picks. Feel pretty good, and we've been absolutely smashing lately. You can just see it right here, what we've been able to do. So you can see we're here in the last couple days here. We had a successful hedge over on the Dub Club. Uh, you know, $300 W there, $300 W there. Those were some hedges. But then you also have some NFL player props that we've been smacking around right there, as you can see. We had uh, just the other day, we had some really nice six flexes and five flexes. A lot of those NBA, uh, those uh, NFL first halves, underdog Ws. I mean, there's just so many things that we've been cashing over on the Dub Club. So if you guys want to join the Dub Club, right now is one of the best times to do so. If you don't know what Dub Club is, all it is is that it is a messaging service. You can get every single one of my entries sent to you via the dub club app email telegram or discord there's tons of different ways to receive my plays and that comes for a ton of different sports as well it's the nba nhl mlb and the nfl super excited with the nhl being back in the nba right around the corner on the 24th i believe so like 12 days till the nba season super excited about that as well but if you guys want to join again like i said once but now right now is one of the best times to do so you can see we're here my what my net profit amount is over on prize picks people like to show off their pickets which can be manipulated by unit sizes this is just straight up dollar amount lifetime net winnings from prize picks as you can see right there but that's not the only thing here because there are two different special offers right now if you guys are interested in joining the dub club the first one is two months for the price of one you're only paying for one month yet you're getting two months i believe there's only 11 spots remaining here i think only the next 11 people to get on this offer before it's gone will be able to get this offer right here so you're only paying for one month but you're getting two months that's my all access that includes all player prop sites all player prop sports and by the way there are five different player prop sites that i cover prize pick sleeper underdog parlay play and chalkboard so five different player prop sites as well with like four different sports so if you guys will though are interested in just nfl you guys can get right now about 15 percent off light little discount if you just want nfl first month of nfl is discounted by 15 percent. that link is down in my description below if you're interested in checking that one out as well so both those offers are available down in my description below but let's hop in though and get to what you guys have been waiting for the nfl player props let's hop in make sure you play responsibly and at your own risk go give me a follow on twitter at dmg props i really would appreciate it and uh you know just uh, subscribe to the channel leave a like all the different stuff play responsibly and let's hop in so the first player prop here is going to be a little bit interesting this is why i want you guys to be on prize picks for this one so you guys can get this one it's the nfl first half so nfl first half here it's going to be in the receiving yards category so this is i believe one of two player prop sites that have nfl first half player props and these are pretty damn good. We have been smashing those. I mean, I showed you guys uh, the screenshot just a little bit ago about how good these NFL first halves have been. I mean, I think we swept the entire board of NFL first halves uh, just last week, if I'm not wrong. So we've been absolutely killing it with these. So we're running back with some uh, first half props today. It's going to be Travis Kelsey over 33 and a half first half receiving yards here. I think it's pretty simple as to why I'm going with the first half over a full game receiving yards for Travis Kelsey because this game should be an absolute blowout. They should be throwing the ball more in the first half than they do the second half. And Kelsey here, if you take a look into Travis Kelsey a lot more, take a look at his last 15 games when the Kansas City Chiefs are winning at halftime. Chiefs heavy favorites in this one. They should be winning at halftime. And uh, take a look at the last, 15, the last 15 games when they've been winning at halftime. He's over us in 13 out of 15 games. So that's 87% of games. That's absolutely huge for what should be a very, very nice matchup. This is opposing tight ends receiving yards per game against the Broncos last season. So not this season, but last season. If you take a look at it, the Broncos here, if you scroll down uh, to tight end, and we'll go to receiving yards here. And the Broncos here, they allowed the fifth most receiving yards per game to opposing tight ends last year. And that was in, you know, the 17 games that they played. Uh, but if you take a look at the smaller sample size of only like five games from this season, you scroll down, they've been a solid matchup for the most part, I guess. They allowed 41.3, which, uh, you know, they're not facing Travis Kelsey type players every week. So I'm not worried about the average or anything. It's just you know, kind of how they rank among other teams. So I think it should be a pretty good spot, though, here for the uh, Travis Kelsey in this one. It's just pretty self-explanatory for the most part. I mean, just take a look at how many times he's been over when the Chiefs are winning. And uh, he's actually been over this in his last two games against them, by the way, as well, back in uh, 2022, 2023, and uh, which was both last season then. So he's over in both games last season with 59 and 35 receiving yards. So 
I think it goes over again this time. There's an asterisk on this one though, because he has been questionable heading into the week. He's been limited in practice, but he is expected to play in this game. As long as he's not going to be a decoy or any, or any of that BS, I do think this one will uh, hopefully end up cashing with ease, but that's the only reason why this play is not a two unit play for me. There's only one unit for me. Otherwise, this play would probably be two units for me. I almost made it two units and I was like, I don't want any crap where they're throwing a decoy Travis Kelsey out there. Or if he's not playing, you know, 100% of the snaps or anything like that, then I'm going to be really pissed off. Uh, so I'm just going to play Travis Kelsey for one unit with the injury news and uh, just keep it right there. But I think Travis Kelsey, as long as he's, you know, completely good to go, I think he will be in a really good spot here over his 33 and a half first half receiving yards. So a little bit of an asterisk on that. If you guys want to wait on this player prop to make sure he's like 100% good to go, no uh, setbacks, no limited snaps or anything like that, you could do that. But Otherwise, I do like him over his 33 and a half first half receiving yards. Moving on to the rushing yards, though, with another guy that's been banged up with injury, it's going to be Javante Williams over 18 and a half first half rushing yards here. So again, another kind of self-explanatory one because the Broncos should be down here. That's why I'm rocking with the first half for Javante rather than the full game. He's actually at 40 and a half full game rushing yards as well on certain sites. And he's at 18 and a half when it comes to first half. So we need 19 here in order to go over. If you take a look at Javante Williams here and just how he's been, this is not the first half, by the way, this is just full game game log. But if you take a look at what he's done in the first half here, he's actually been over this in uh, 12 out of his last 15 games here. That's not, you know, there's no splits or anything like that. Just his last 15 games, take them. 12 out of 15, he's been over this here. And one of the games we missed was just last game against the Bears, where he actually got hurt all, um, with only two rushing attempts there. So, otherwise, he's also over this. And by the way, 72% of career games, 72% of career games, which is huge, just because he was a rookie, you know, uh, you know, just kind of getting worked into that workload, things like that. So, I think 19 is a really soft number here. And the reason why it's so low is because it's based off of his full game rushing yards line, which is uh, impacted definitely by the blowout and them probably throwing the ball uh, more than they usually do. So Javante, I think, should be in a great spot there over his 18 half first half rushing yards. But let's take a look here. Probably going to look at like the rushing yards per game that the Chiefs are allowing kind of stay away from this one here. So let's scroll down here. The Chiefs are allowing, you know, some of the least amount of rushing yards per game at 77.7. .7. But a lot of that has to do with the game script and teams playing down against the Kansas City Chiefs. So instead, let's go with a better statistic to take a look at here, which is the rushing yards per attempt. And the Chiefs are allowing, you know, kind of towards the top. They're allowing 4.2 rushing yards per attempt this year. I mean, that's like top, you know, 12 right there, I believe it is. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs right there. So should be a pretty good matchup for him. They should be running on the ball a lot more in the first half than they do the second half. So I think Javante Williams, as long as he's 100% good to go. He's been a full participant in practice last two weeks. He's good to go for Thursday Night Football. So as long as he's not... You know, uh, there's no uh, Jaleel McLaughlin getting a crap ton of uh, rushing yards or anything like that. I think Javante should be able to catch this one and, and, you know, maybe even five attempts. I think he can get this one done. Five, six attempts. As long as he has it in the first half, I think he can get this one done. So Javante Williams over 18 and a half first half rushing yards. As long as the injuries and decoys don't screw us over today, I'm feeling really, really good about that entry right there. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys uh, stick around and see me in the next one. Make sure you guys join the dub club. Link for it is down in my description below. If you guys want to see a, uh, a pretty good player prop research tool, check out the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. This is a tool that helps you find the best effective value plays for player prop sites. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, you can see right here, like the sleeper board right here, you can see sleeper. It gives you the best expected value plays for that player prop site. They have us for prize picks, underdog, parlay play, sleeper, flip, wherever you guys are at. All you have to do is click the refresh button. When you press the refresh button, it pulls up the best suspected value plays for that player prop site. This is only one of three tools, by the way. There's also middling and fantasy score tool as well. And you get a seven-day free trial of this tool with the link down in my description below. You guys can cancel it any time. If you end up paying for your tool, it does help the channel a ton if you do so. Otherwise, seven-day free trial. You can't. You can uh, go ahead and check it out for yourself. But uh, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. See you guys hopefully in the next one. Best luck with your Thursday Night Football player props. And let's hopefully kill prize picks yet again this week uh, like we did on Thursday Night Football. And also, you know, that Sunday slate as well was very, very good to me. Super close to cash now for like 700 bucks off of just need Dak Prescott rushing yards. And they got freaking blown out. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys hopefully in the next one. Peace out and uh, best of luck. Make sure you play responsibly.